In this tutorial, I'm going to start to show you a little bit more complex version of a game that you could create using PowerPoint. So I'm going to do this as a true or false, but you could also set it up as a multiple choice or something like that. So I'm going to call this true or false. Rainforest Animals Edition. All right, and again, you could uh, put the title slide in or not put it in, depending on what uh, you're doing with your game, if it's a standalone game or if it's part of another presentation. You could also, of course, put on some kind of template uh, to make it look all schnazzy. That's totally up to you. Some little butterflies, sure, why not? All right, now we go in and we start to build, and this one's a little bit more complex, so it's gonna take us some time. And the first thing we want to do is set up our question slides. So I'm going to ask true or false on each of them. And then I'm going to ask the question. So for example, red eyed tree frogs are poisonous. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another question to this. I'm going to do a new slide and then do true or false. Capuchin monkeys live in the Amazon rainforest. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is set up some slides that will be my correct and incorrect. So, for example, with my first question here, red-eyed tree frogs are poisonous. The answer to that is false, and I need a way, uh, first of all, for my students to choose an answer, but then also I need a way to tell them whether or not they're correct. So I'm going to come down here. I know this seems a little counterintuitive, but it'll all make sense in a minute. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to insert a new slide, and this one's going to say correct. And I'm going to put in a clip art of maybe some clapping hands. There we go, here's a little animated GIF. That makes it kind of fun. I'm gonna expand that out so it's a little bigger. And then I'm gonna do something a little tricksy on this one. I'm gonna go up to Transitions, and all the way to the right, I'm going to add a sound effect to this of applause so that when they come to this slide, this, these little hands are going to clap and they're going to get a little applause sound effect. All right. Now, I also am going to need a way to get back to my question uh, so that they can navigate around my game. So I'm going to go to Insert, Shapes, and come down to my Action Buttons. And these allow me to kind of navigate around my presentation a little bit. So I'm going to choose the return action button. And what that one does is it takes you back to the slide you were just on. I'm going to draw that out and notice it says here hyperlink to last slide viewed. So that'll take us back to the question that we just answered. Okay. Now I'm going to make another slide. And this will be my incorrect slide. And I'm going to insert a clip art on here. This time I'll do a bomb. Go. Choose this little guy. Make him bigger. Same process I did before. All right, now, just as we did before, I'm going to go to Transitions, over to Sound, and I'm gonna choose a bomb. That part, of course, is optional. I just think it's kind of fun. All right, now I'm also going to put in, so Insert, Shapes, that Return button. And I could just copy it. In fact, I think I will. So I'm gonna go back to my correct slide and copy that so that it ends up the same size and in the same place. Okay. All right. I'm going to come back and make a new video where I show you how to make this all work.